Lately, the news has been difficult to stomach for many homeowners. Farmers Insurance brand is leaving the state and AAA choosing not to renew some insurance policies. And it just keeps getting worse. Tens of thousands of citizens policyholders are now about to lose their coverage. Wash to investigate Sheldon Dutez explains why Florida's insurer of last resort is dropping customers. There's I don't know what to do now. I mean, you know, if the insurance goes up on this house, then it'll be a choice between do I insure at that rate or I do not insure at all. And Mike McKee's dilemma isn't unique. It is a concern for homeowners all across Central Florida and the state who are dealing with home insurance premiums that keep going up. We first met Mike nearly two years ago when he was getting ready to put a metal roof on his house near downtown Orlando. Even with the new roof, Citizens, the insurer of last resort, was the only company he could get to affordably cover his home. But now he's wondering what would happen if he gets dropped. And what would you do if you got one of those letters telling you that you were no longer eligible for citizens? Well, I'll lose my mind for about 30 seconds and then I will, I'll, I'll go research and see what I can do. But again, that option will be if it's, if it's exceedingly expensive. I may just self-insure. Tens of thousands of citizens policyholders may no longer be eligible for coverage if a private company offers to take over their policies. It's what citizens calls depopulation. So here's how the depopulation process works. Now, citizens will send you a letter letting you know that a private company wants to take over your citizens policy. If that private company's premium is within 20% of your citizens premium, you would no longer be eligible for citizens. You don't necessarily have to go with that private company, but you would no longer be able to get coverage through citizens. Let's say the premium on your citizens policy is $3,000. If you get an offer from a private company for $3,600 or less, you would not be able to keep your citizens policy. Michael Peltier is a spokesman for citizens. Um, and it, talk to me a little bit more about that 20% because, I mean, this really does vary policy to policy because for some people, if it's within that 20% of their citizens policy, it means that some of them might pay less with the private market offering or some might pay 20% more than the private offering. Well, uh, yes, it, and if you're correct, children, it does, it does, it's on a case by case basis. Since 2009, Citizen says 1.7 million policies have transferred to private companies under the depopulation process, which helps citizens lower its risk by having fewer policies. Policyholders used to have the option to stay with citizens when that happened. The Senate will be in order. But that changed during the special session last December when lawmakers voted to change the requirements. So it's not an option anymore if you're within that 20%. All of the private companies that take over for citizens' policies have to be financially fit and approved by the state's Office of Insurance Regulation. The state recently approved SLI to take over up to 25,000 citizens' policies. You know, citizens really doesn't have any say in, in which policies are chosen. Letters to impacted policyholders were supposed to go out on June 28th, but citizens didn't have the total number when West 2 investigates asked how many policyholders had received notices. Regardless, more and more private companies are taking over citizens' policies. So far this year, the Florida Office of Insurance Regulation says seven different companies were approved to take over 91,000 citizens' policies. And that number could climb even higher because 184,000 citizens' policies have been requested for takeover and more requests could happen before the end of the year. But this is just a drop in the bucket to help citizens and the overall home insurance market stabilize. Citizens needs to depopulate in total by at least a million policies, get it down to a manageable number. So there's a long way to go, but the fact that citizens is still forecasting major growth this year, that's very problematic. In Orlando, Sheldon Dutez, West 2 News.